TSD will automatically design all load combinations according to code. Select the column you wish to review or add PT moment. Right click and select check member, static. The summary table will help you to see critical columns or stacks. Here I can see stack 5 utilization is highest. You can easily identify critical load combinations are marked with an exclamation mark. Now how do we create the additional load combination for PT forces? Now right click on the column, Selic Interactive Design, Static. In the Interaction Diagram tab, information for each stack is displayed. You can make use of the Interaction Diagram to check PT design forces against column capacity. You can also find the critical design load combination and design forces here. You can use the axial and shear forces displayed here to create the PT design load comb. Go to additional design cases. Create your load comb, click OK. Key in the critical axial loads. Insert the PT moment from Specialist. Insert critical shear forces. Click on Auto Design Stack so TSD can run design for the additional cases. Click Check to review the revised design. In this case, the columns still fail. And if you expand all, you can see that the failure is caused by the additional PT design case. You can see that the design case is outside the interaction diagram which means it is exceeding column capacity. You can use interaction diagram to visually investigate impact of PT design moment vs column capacity. Perhaps increasing column rebar manually may help. It didn't work. Perhaps you may need to increase column size to make this work. Get TSD to design member. You can review the design.